the requirement is the requirement is the person who is working on this demo incident that person is actually keeping this demo incident record is in on hold state as soon as he provides on hold state right he has to provide why is he why is he keeping in on hold state he has to provide the justification and then he has to provide the date so till which date it should be on hold till 16th date it should be on hold so on the 17th date on the 17th date it should automatically go to in progress state without any manual intervention do you understand yeah clear thank you yeah so is that clear for everyone yes sir yeah so what i will do is i will actually fire the event on this particular day i will fire the event on this particular day so whatever the date that you have taken here right on this particular date i will actually fire the event understand okay so now what i am going to do is i am going to create a business rule here I am going to create a business rule here. okay here you will check advanced checkbox here you will you will use after update and you will also keep the condition as state is state changes changes to on hold okay so here what i am doing is i am actually firing an event using gs dot event queue event name back to in progress demo dot incident so this is the event that i am firing current comma okay this event name i am going to create this event name i am going to create in the event registry okay i have just created an event okay now what i am going to do is i am going to create a script action back to in progress so we have to write a glide record on demo incident table okay grinc dot add query Sisadi comma current dot sisadi. So this script action will have this script action will have current object access. Grinc dot query if in progress
even to them we should change yeah yeah, yeah. so so event name uh back to in progress demo incident okay so now try to understand the the thing clearly guys now try to understand the things clearly here i am actually passing the event name object name param1 param2 i can also pass fifth parameter i can also pass fifth parameter here so when you can pass fifth parameter when you are using event queue scheduled so event queue is different event queue scheduled is different okay i am going to use event queue i am going to use event queue scheduled so event queue scheduled will actually fire the event at specified time event queue scheduled will actually fire the event at specific time okay event queue schedule so on which date on this particular date right whatever the date that you selected here right on this particular date the event should be fired then what i am doing here is current dot so on this particular date the event will be fired okay so now let me just show you i am just refreshing this demo incident okay so now i am just cre creating the record once i create the record so the assigned person will start working on this one what he will do he will actually keep it in on hold when he keep it in on hold state he must provide the on hold reason he must also provide the back to in progress date as well suppose he is actually providing the back to in progress date as 23 so on 23 date the state field should automatically go to in progress state so now i am actually uh, updating this particular as record as on hold state once it is in on hold state this business rule will be triggered didn't we save this one Hurry. this is not the one which we have to update this business rule is not the one which we have to update this is the business rule which we have to update actually okay now let me just save this one so it got automatically kept okay now it should fire an event it should fire an event so once the event is fired you can actually check those event logs here right see this event is fired so here if you take a look at here process on so on on 23rd this event will be fired event is triggered but event is not fired do you do you guys understand the difference between triggering and firing yes so they okay so on this 23rd date it will fire the event once the event is fired this script action that we created right what where is that 
the script action that we created, right? The script action will be triggered. Once the script action is triggered, this line of script will be executed. It will keep the record state in progress automatically. Is that clear? Yeah. So in the event log, if you take a look at here, this is actually the event that is fired. If you take a look at here, for for rest of the for rest of the events, process on time, process dates, process time run both are same. Process on time and process time both are same for different previous events. So let us take uh, our previous event. So this one, create demo incident task. See process on time, process time both are same. But here you have only process on time. So this will be processed on this particular date. Once this is actually processed on this particular date, the date will be updated here. Okay. You, you guys are able to understand, right? When do we you when do we fire the script actions? When do we yeah. fire the script actions? How do we fire the script actions? What is the purpose of script actions? Clear? Yes, so then, uh, now this uh, event will fire on 23rd March, right? Yes. So till that time, we should wait whether it will trigger or not. Like no. after after that only we can check, right? Whether the scripted. Yeah. Um, yes, yes. Scripted perfect. So yeah. maybe. So, yes. so maybe testing point of view or maybe so today test if we'll put what will happen, Modi. So let us let us do one thing. Let us do one thing. Uh, today's date is actually third, right? So here, when you are providing the date, so what time? What time is today? Nineteenth zero eight forty six. Maybe mm -hmm. after one, maybe after one minute we will give. Let me just go back again. I'm just moving back. Okay, now I am actually going back to on hold state. So I am selecting uh, 21. But that is ours, right? 21. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, 21. You yeah. were showing 19 before. Hmm. 15 minutes, right? Hmm. Okay. So now business rule will be triggered and that business rule will fire the event. Once it fires the event, you can actually check those logs in the event logs. So just now. So two minutes from now. So if we wait for two minutes, if we wait for two minutes, the script action will be triggered. Once the script action is triggered, the state will be automatically set as um, in progress state. Okay, now we are actually 44th, right? 8, 8, 8 a.m., 44 minutes. So, in two minutes, the event will be fired. Once the event is fired, you can you can check the process time as well. So this process time is not yet updated. Less than a minute from now. So this state should become automatically in progress. It says event is, this event is not at fired. I think you have selected wrong date. Hmm? 
wrong data. Yes, sir. Zero two zero three. It's selected. That is actually system data, I believe. Yeah. Now it is actually processed. Now it is processed. We will check. See, the demo instant record state is automatically updated as in progress, right? System has modified this field value to in progress. See, uh, whatever the time that you specified, the script action is actually triggered on the time, and then it, it has run the script. That script is actually, the script has actually made the state as in progress state again. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, e e events, events wise, you are clear, right? Service now events. Yeah. 